Uh, yeah, I'm going to make my debut for Bellator MMA um, in the next couple of months, so I'm really excited about that. Um, we had a bunch of other, you know, uh, promotions we were considering, and uh, just Bellator seemed like the best way to go. Um, so I was 8-2 and two in amateur MMA and then 4-0 oh in uh, amateur Muay Thai. And, um, you know, I signed with Bellator because, you know, I just can tell, like, they take care of their fighters well. They let us be who we want to be in terms of, you know, marketing, sponsorship, everything. So I just, I felt like Bellator was the best place for me. Um, it's also local. Like, I've grown up in the Bay Area, and they're in San Jose. So it just seemed like, you know, the best fit for me and, you know, with with the way things have gone, you know, in the last couple of years of my amateur career, it just seemed like it would be really easy for me to transition over into my pro career um, with Bellator based on what I've seen, how they're, you know, treating other fighters and whatnot. Yeah, I'm super excited. It's, um, I didn't know, you know, how, how long it was going to take me. And, you know, we didn't really have a timeline for it. We were just going off of, um, you know, how my amateur fighting was going, how I was developing in terms of my skill level. And um, it all seemed to kind of come together towards the end. I felt like I was able to stylistically match up with different opponents pretty well. Um, I fought, you know, really good strikers, really good uh, grapplers. So I felt like, you know, the time was right. I want to thank my coaches, Dan Black and Kurt Osiander, um, and my teams, Team Black and Half Gracie Jiu Jitsu. And I also want to thank my sponsors, DC Solar, Delta Tactical Training, um, Knox Gear, Alana Zegwites, uh, Action Pro Gear. Thank you.